Hey, it's Andre. I previously reviewed this ESR Halolock MagSafe car charger mount, but now ESR have updated it with this one and improved it with the introduction of Cryoboost, which is ESR's answer to the heat problem caused by wireless charging. It's that cryoboost feature which differentiates the new one from the old one, which means there is a fan situated within the charger that is gonna cool your iPhone down while it's charging and allow it to operate more optimally because of that, you know, that normal heat that's generated and transferred to the phone through normal wireless charging, while that heat is significantly reduced. If you're in the car, what are generally the two most battery intensive apps that you're most likely gonna be using both safely and legally? Navigation and music apps. And if you're charging on a car mount, either wired or wirelessly, you may notice at the end of a journey, particularly if it's a long one and you've used those apps, when it comes time to take your phone off the mount, then most of the time, not only is your phone very warm or hot to touch, but it's often not charged to 100%. And this is because wireless chargers are designed to charge slower when your phone temperature increases, and this is just to prevent overheating. Now this charger aims to improve and reduce both of those problems. And if you've got a compatible 18 watt or more car power adapter, then you'll be able to take advantage of the faster magnetic charging speeds capable thanks to the cryoboost feature. So in the box you'll get the instructions, a 1 meter USB-A to USB-C cable, the air vent mount which attaches to the Halo Lock wireless car charger. Easy to mount on most car vents, even if they are horizontal or vertical. When in position, the ball joint between the charger and the mount can be positioned in 360 degrees into your preferred position, whether that be in portrait or landscape orientation, and then tightened. As we know, with the Halo Lock system, you're gonna get a strong, powerful hold between your phone and the mount of about 1400 grams, meaning there isn't gonna be a bumpy road that will dislodge your iPhone from the mount. So far using this one and its predecessor, even the bumpiest roads I've driven on haven't managed to remove the phone from the mount. This is compatible with all iPhone 12, 13, and the upcoming 14, as well as phones with official MagSafe cases or the ESR Halo Lock Universal Ring. And if you've got one of ESR's Halo Lock cases, like the Cloud Soft case, here that I've got on my iPhone 13 Pro, then you can take advantage of the increased magnetic hold of about 3000 grams between the mount and the iPhone. Link to my review video on this case is up there and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Having the new and the old one side by side, you can see that the only difference is, if we look from the back and the front, is where the fans are situated. When you do put your iPhone against the mount, you'll notice you'll get that blue status light that features on this and other ESR Cryoboost accessories, telling you that the fans have been enabled. And when they are on, they're not too loud enough to disturb you either. I recently used this setup on a recent 250 mile round trip while navigating to the destination with Apple Maps on a newly typical hot British day. What I noticed when we arrived at our destination and back home was just how cool the back of the phone was to touch and that it was fully charged to 100%. Despite the journey being about three hours in a hot car. I was able to take my phone off the mount and instead of it being a little sluggish because of the heat, it was fully responsive. Now this is a permanent fixture in my car replacing the old model. So if you want a fast charging MagSafe compatible wireless charger for your car, and for your iPhone, that's gonna allow you to navigate on the move while at the same time holding your iPhone firmly and safely, and then why not try the ESR Halo Lock wireless car charger with Cryoboost. I'd like to thank ESR for providing this for me to test and review. I'll leave the links to this in the description below. Press the like button if you like this video and subscribe if you already haven't. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.